zoax.net. Lesson 1. Creating a console application in Visual Studio 2012. To follow along with this lesson, you need to have Visual Studio 2012 installed. In this lesson, I will show you how to create and compile a simple program using Visual Studio 2012. If you don't have Visual Studio 2012, you can install the Free Express version by following the directions in our Lesson Zero video. The steps in this video will be used for most of the remaining lessons, but I will not repeat them. If you are using an earlier version of Windows, you should be able to find the Start menu and locate and open your installed Visual Studio. If you have a Windows 8 machine like this one, it is considerably more difficult, so I will go over that. Start by sliding the cursor to the upper left hand corner and then bringing it down to the middle of the screen and left clicking the Start button. This brings you to the Start screen where you can access your installed programs much as you did in the Start menu in the previous versions of Windows. Then move your cursor to the bottom of the screen and left click and drag the scroll bar there all the way to the right. At this point you should see the icon for Visual Studio. Left click it to run Visual Studio. As the program starts, you might see a message box like this one. If you do, you should get the update by left clicking Get Online Help and following the steps there until you finish the update. After Visual Studio runs, the IDE should be open like this. However, you might see a progress bar running for a little while to complete the setup. Once Visual Studio opens, left click File in the menu bar and then left click New Project in the submenu and you should see this dialog open. Left click Visual C++ and then left click Win32 Console Application. Then left click the box next to Name and enter Console Lesson 1. And left click the OK button to go on. This will open the Win32 Application Wizard. Left click Application Settings. In the Application Settings, left click the box next to Empty Project to select it, then left click the finish button to go on. This will create and open the new project as shown here. Now we want to add a code file. Left click project in the menu bar and then left click add new item in the sub menu to open the add new item dialog. In the dialog window left click visual C++ and then left click C++ file, then left click the box next to name and enter main.cpp. Finish by left clicking the add button. Your project should now look like this with the name main.cpp listed here and here. Left click inside the main pane and enter this text. You can copy it from the lesson page on our website if you have any problems. Now left click debug and left click start without debugging to compile and run the program. You should see a message box asking you if you would like to build the project. Left click the Yes button. At this point the program will compile and run if you have typed it correctly and you should see the console window displaying the words Hello World. Congratulations, you have just compiled your first C++ program.